I'm back. Okay, so my last person that I want to speak about, and this is probably the longest one or close to it, is my father. Okay, like I said, my father came here to visit late 1970s, stayed permanently in the early 1980s. Okay, my dad was from um, an area, he was born in Campobasso, Busso, Italy. Two years old, he moved to Maracaibo in Venezuela. He moved to Venezuela because it was the first place that his family was able to obtain a visa to leave Italy. They needed work. Um, it's funny because I say like they needed work, but where my dad's from in Italy, most people don't work. Um, they call them the, they don't even say they're the Candonini, like they refer to, they used to refer to my grandmother's family as the Candonini, like the farmers. However, my my dad always says, my family just never worked. They hung out in the piazza all day. They just walked and hung out. They didn't do anything. So, um, so my dad moved when he was around two to Venezuela and came to the U.S. Like I said, in like 1970s to visit, 1980s to stay permanently. Um, they moved to Venezuela purely for work purposes. They wanted to better their lives and they were seen as, um, they were seen as like a higher class coming from Italy. Um, they were Hispanic, but they were seen as European and the Europeans were treated better or perceived better in society, if that makes sense. Um, just a little tidbit about my dad's family. My dad's family has, they have family in New Jersey. I personally don't keep in contact with any of my family in New Jersey. I don't really know of any family in New Jersey until I spoke to my dad. Um, my dad's mother, we used to call her my nonina, uh, my grandmother, and my nonina was his father. My nonina, ha her father grew up with his grandparents. His parents moved to the U.S. first and left him behind. Um, my, this would, so this would be the equivalent of my great-grandfather. My great-grandfather did not see his parents from the time of birth until he was in his, until the 1960s. So they left around the 1920s and he saw them 40 years later. He never met his mother again and he never met one of his brothers. He did meet his father um, when they came to the U.S. to visit. And that was the only time my great grandfather ever saw his family members again. He always grew up with his grandparents. So having said that, my dad's, I'm sorry, my dad's mother's last name is Delicia. So there's a split, okay? There's like a split from Delicios in New York, and then there's the Delicios in New Jersey. Funny, right? Very funny. So my great grandfather never saw his parents um, other than his father. And he didn't grow up with them. He didn't grow up with his brothers and his sisters. He had his own family. My dad's um, grandmother, my mother's mother, died at the age of 38 um, from infections. Unfortunately, where they were in Italy, infections could not be treated very well. Um, and people died suddenly. Um, now onto my dad's father, who's my nonino. His father uh, served in the military. My nonino's father, who's my great grandfather, he served in the military. Uh, my grandfather did not, just wasn't the time. He didn't serve. My dad's father, my nonino's father, served under Mussolini, which was kind of cool. Um, uh, not really cool, but like different. So he served under Mussolini. Um, then my dad's, okay, so this is, my family gets, it gets like a little bit complicated. Bear with me. So my Zio Gennaro is my Nonina's brother. However, he is also my Nonino's first cousin. So there's a relation on two sides. My Zio Gennaro fought in the Sicilian army under Mussolini as well. And he was knighted, so he was Sir, Sir Gennaro di Giorgio, okay? I hope this makes sense. If we need any clarification, please leave it in the comments below, and I will further explain. Um, so there's that. And then, so he ended up marrying, Maizio Gennaro ended up marrying 
my Nonemus sister, my Zampina. Okay. Um, and he, my Zampina's family ended up moving to Venezuela alongside my grandfather's family. Um, so th that's, that's that. Um, so I always ask my dad, like, what it was like to live, like, in Venezuela and then come to the U.S. And my dad said that in the U.S. they were kind of seen as, it's funny because they went from this high status in, in Venezuela and then they went to this lower status once they came to the United States and they really had to work and work. My dad believes in the American dream. Um, he just, he believes in the American dream. My dad knew he had to work hard to do well here. And my dad was so grateful for all the opportunities that the U.S. offered for him. My dad was in the military um, in the early 1990s. And my dad works, he works with the government now. Um, so he was always very appreciative of what the U.S. did for him. Okay. So just a little bit about my last name. My last name is... An original it is an Italian last name I say this because yes indeed on my mother's side my mother's parents have Italian last names however we are not for sure and we actually don't think so that my grandmother's family and my grandfather's family is originally from Italy like originally, not going back many many years but we know for sure that my dad's is because my dad's family is the first Luciano was a Roman senator. First Luciano. For those of you that don't know, Luciano means a form of light, Luke, right, like whatever. Okay? Um, so it means that um, it's not Luciano because Luciano is Spanish or Portuguese. So, okay. So I have some notes on my father. Um, let's see what I can incorporate into this. I told you my father's was a little bit longer. So, my dad's family did go to Ellis Island. When they came to the United States, my dad went to Ellis Island. It's funny. I haven't been to Ellis Island yet. Um, and he said, like, the only person, the first person that came was in the 1890s. And it was his grandfather's father on his mother's side. So, my Nonina's father's father. And that's what I was saying before. And they came to New York in the, in the 1890s and didn't really like the U.S. Didn't, didn't really like the U.S. Um, but his great, I'm sorry, and this was on his, his great-grandfather on his father's side, let's say this. Okay, came in the 1890s. This is my notes right here. Um, this is why we're doing this video because we're trying to improve acting public speaking skills and not have to look at sloppy notes uh not that it's sloppy but you get the gist so anyway everyone went to ellis island my dad's odd uh, my dad's grandparents went to ellis island my dad's great grandparents went to ellis island okay so his great grandfather on his father's side went to the new york in the 1890s first one to go to new york didn't like it went back to italy now we have my great grandfather on my mother's side so this is my dad's grandfather's father. He was the one that now he was, his family resides in New Jersey that I don't speak to, but his family came to the U.S. and stayed there. Okay? Does this make sense? Good. Um, and in his mother's family, his uncle was involved in the U.S. Army. So his great grandfather father that came on the mother's side that I ended up saying here had a son whose uncle fought in the U.S. Army. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Okay. So, my dad didn't live under Chavez. I kind of thought this was cool too. My dad didn't live under Chavez. My cousin Claudia did, who was my dad's first cousin. This is Zia Gennaro's daughter and Zia Pina's daughter. She lived under Chavez. And at first, she liked him. She voted for him. She liked what he had to say. Then she was not a fan. Um, and I thought that was funny because Chavez has such a presence, a 
and taken in a negative connotation. So I asked my dad, I wanted to know more about her perspective. He didn't really go into pol the politics of it, um, just really didn't like what he stood for and what he was doing. So we'll keep it at that because there's no need to go too in depth about politics. Um, so there is that. My dad came to the U.S. permanently when he was 18 years old with my mother. Um, and like I said, my dad, it was only a few years that my dad, a few months even at that point, um, that my dad was in the U.S. And he had to make a name for himself. His family had to make a name for himself. They had to use the United States to cultivate their lives and improve themselves. Um, I really see that my dad's family... They have a lot of strength for doing what they do. Uh, they went from unfamiliar places from Italy to Venezuela to the U.S. and they took risks. It might not necessarily be the best risk possible, but they took risks. They used their strength, persistence, and perseverance to improve their lives and to better their lives. Ultimately, I could say I know 100% that my father's life is better being in the United States. I don't know that I would say the same for my dad's brothers or his uh, or his father or his mother um because they're no longer with us but my dad's brothers I I don't know what they particularly would say on the topic but I know my father really appreciates his life here um so that's what I would attribute some fun facts about my family um my dad has a brother that it's my zio Tony um my zio Tony and everybody refers to him as Tony Funny thing is, his name is Liberato, but everybody calls him Tony. Italians have these interesting nicknames. He was supposed to be named Anthony, and then they will call him Tony for short. However, in Italy at the time, the hospitals were very different, and you had to name your child after they were born, and you had to go get them named. So my uncle lost the sheet of paper that my grandfather gave to him and picked the saint of the day, and it was Liberato. So that's how he got his name. And then, ironically, my on my my father has five middle names, Biagio, Claudio, Angelo, Andamo, um, what is the last one? Gennaro, something like that. Something like that. He has five middle names. And, um, <laughs> so he, but he goes by Luigi Biagio in the U.S., but his uncles went to go name him and they all just said random things and they wrote it down you can't change it once it's written down so they kept all of his names so those are a little bit of fun facts about my family